side, and I'll try to make it quick. My first art form was sculpture. Uh, I was a serious sculptor, and I created large wooden figures, mainly of women, breaking through frames, breaking through windows, church windows, <laughs> mirrors, anything I could find. Just that power of, of, of women owning themselves, getting away from the oppressions and definitions that had been laid on us. And this was in the 60s and 70s. So here I am making sculptures, being part of happenings. I put uh, the sculptures in the theater and uh, shows, I call it sculpture theater, music and dance. And I, I'm looking at my, my figures and they're all breaking out loose and flying around the room. And I said, that's what I have to do. I have to break out. I have to move beyond what I am, a lone artist in the studio. It's the 60s, it's the civil rights movement. It's the Stonewall Rebellion. It's the war in Vietnam, my God, what is going on in my country and my world? Artists who have the ability to envision and create, well, all of us have that ability. Let us, let us work together. So I uh, formed with my partner then, Jerome Padanas, many street theater groups. And we traveled around the country performing and we thought we were gonna educate other people, but truly, we, we got more education from learning about how other people are and felt, and we had to work with language and images in a way that we didn't even realize when we began, but as I'm traveling around, I'm hearing reports about my sculptures. I'm like, uh, so-and-so who was keeping uh, the door figure in her basement had to move, and, and so sorry, but she had to leave the sculpture there. Oh, it's so sorry. Uh, your uh, the piece you called your masterpiece, the room keeper, a, a priestess witch playing the marimba, I that, uh, was destroyed at a political gathering. Someone took a baseball bat and whacked it apart. Yeah. <laughs> I what, what, was my sculpture that threatening? I mean, what was going on? So I knew there was a head over it at that so and so's place, and there was an arm left over in somebody's attic. And you know, there were two feet. I, I found them in my closet. <laughs> fragments, fragments. Okay, Gus gives me fragments, and I can do something with them. So, I mean, we, we all have fragments in our life and broken parts from love's passing that we didn't want them to, and so forth. So, it was very important for me to, to learn how to go on and create something. Of something that had come down from 630 BC. Woo! Woo! I mean, <laughs> that's a long time that's ago. I, I don't, you know, I, I, I like to think that Sappho is here with us. And who's to tell me that she isn't? Not me. I think mean, maybe if we took everybody's DNA, we'd find her either. <laughs> but,